we're now looking at the acid equilibrium expression and the strengths of acids and conjugate bases. The acid equilibrium expression is based on the acid dissociational reaction. So HA for generic acid, uh, A for the anion formed from the acid. So the generic acid reacts with water from the hydronium ion and the anion. So the equilibrium expression would be our hydronium ion, the anion over the acid. Water does not show up in our equilibrium expressions in aqueous solutions. And there's another reaction that is related is the base reaction. So the base starts with the conjugate base, the anion here. Conjugate base reacts with water to form the acid again and produces some hydroxide. So that's our base reaction. The relationship between the two of them is that the um, Ka, the acid equilibrium constant times Kb, the base equilibrium constant equals Kw, which is a constant. So that means as our acid concentration, acid value increases, our base value will increase. If our acid value decreases, our base value will increase. And that will be useful when we're answering questions like our strongest acid and strongest base. So if we're just looking at our Ka constants, on these two here, this 1.8 times 10 minus 5 is five orders of magnitude larger than 6.2 times 10 minus 10. This is a stronger acid. It'll produce more of the hydronium ion uh, as it dissociates in water. So this is our strongest acid between these two, not the first one. But the strongest acid, larger Ka, means it has a smaller Kb. It's a weaker base. So this one is weaker. So this weaker one, weaker acid, creates our stronger conjugate base. We've already covered conjugate bases, so our conjugate base here will be Cn minus, minus the hydrogen ion. Over here, we take off the hydrogen ion, we're left with the acetate ion, C2H3O2 minus. So cyanide is a stronger base, cyanide ion, and acetic acid is a stronger acid. So let's look at the dissociation reaction and the Ka expression. So for this, we're using an unusual acid. Uh, it's a coordinate uh, covalent compound of aluminum with water. We'll cover this before the end of the semester. But as a acid, it's going to lose a hydrogen ion to form hydronium ion. So that would be our expression, our reaction for it. The Ka will be our products, the hydrogen ion, the conjugate base, all over the original compound. So that is our Ka expression. So this is a short introduction to our acid equilibrium constant. Uh, so we can take our reactions, turn them into a Ka expression. 
And then our relative properties of Ka and Kb. 